Welcome to our video on log rolling a patient with known or suspected spinal cord injury. Rolling is a spinal precaution technique that restricts movement of the spine and aims to protect and maintain spinal integrity and anatomical alignment, enabling assessment of and facilitating care to posterior of patient. Preparation for removal of tape, towels and gauze. Lead instructs nurse one to maintain restriction of cervical spine movement. Stable the head and neck using a C grip patient's forehead and chin and towels are carefully removed from the patient. Restriction of cervical spine movement is maintained. We are in position and preparing to log roll the patient. Team lead takes over control of head and neck. Constant communication with patient and team members is vital. Hands are released from patient's forehead and chin. The team are instructed where to place their hands on the patient. Under the contralateral shoulder blade and hip, using a crossover under contralateral hip and scooping contralateral knee. Crossing over to scoop contralateral thigh and contralateral ankle. Inspection of correct hand placement and anatomical alignment. Hand marks for anatomical alignment are the patient's chin in line with their sternum, with their umbilicus and their pelvis. Team lead reassures the patient. Checks team is ready. The team lead gives the commands ready, steady, roll. The patient is rolled to a 90 degree angle onto their side toward the team. The patient's posterior is then inspected. Anatomical alignment reviewed. Air delivery can be provided to the patient. Full inspection of patient's posterior is carried out. Once care delivery is complete, team lead instructs the team to roll patient back into a supine position. Patient's position and anatomical alignment is checked and confirmed. The team remove their hands in sequential order. The team lead maintains manual inline stabilization. Patient's position is rechecked and they are advised to relax their arms down by their sides. The patient is asked if there is any change in their condition post log roll. Towels and tape are reinserted to ensure return of restriction of cervical spine movement. It is vital that the patient is communicated with throughout the whole procedure. Ensure patient is hemodynamically stable, including assessment of airway, breathing and circulation. A complete set of observations, including neurological observations, is required post-procedure. To summarize, spinal precautions are important to minimize possible neurological damage to the spinal cord that may occur during inappropriate spine mobilization. Log rolling should be utilized for any patient with a high suspicion of spinal cord injury or trauma based on the mechanism of injury, their presenting signs and symptoms, or the inability for the healthcare professional to perform a reliable assessment, for example, if patient is unconscious or sedated. Points to remember. Head hold person is in control of the role as team leader. Bed height is at the head hold person's hip height. Chest person is the tallest team member, placing hands over patient's shoulder and lower back. The hip person ensures the lower spine is not twisted during the roll, placing one hand near the lower hand of the chest person on lower back and the other hand underneath patient's thigh. The leg person is required for tall or heavy patients, supporting the weight of the leg from underneath while maintaining manual inline stabilization. Ensure to document your findings during the procedure communicate with the patient and their family, inform patient's doctor of assessment and adverse findings if any, carry out hand hygiene, doff PPE and ensure scene is safe before leaving area.